Hello, my dear students. This is Rina Abdullah, your AP teacher. In this course, the AP Computer Science Principle, we have different big ideas and different topics we'll go over. Today, we I'm going to introduce the first big idea, which is creative development, which is our first big idea in this course, where we have different topics we need to go over it. Let's find out more details about this unit. I will call it unit or big idea, it's the same, uh, which is called creative development. In this unit, collaboration is really important when creating a new computing ideas because it allows us to get into different perspective and improve our designs. In this big idea, students work together to design and make programs using a step-by-step -step process they talk to people from different backgrounds and groups to understand what they need. After making the program, they test it to make sure it meets those needs. Also, you'll find that collaboration is different from just working in a group because everyone has to take part and share their ideas at the beginning of the school year. It can be helpful for the teacher to set up ways to work well together and give us time to practice. My dear students, within this big idea, it will be like introduction or the first step in this course, where we will go over the collaboration, the innovations, uh, <coughs> the technology, and more within the computer world. Uh, We'll go over different lessons. We'll practice different questions related to the AP classroom, which will help us to understand more about this big idea. And we will make sure that you will be able to incorporate multiple perspective through collaborative improves computing innovation and they are developed. So we'll discuss the collaboration concepts, the computing innovations and more. <coughs> and developers create and innovate using an iterative design process that is user focused that incorporate implementation feedback cycle and that leave uh, ample room from uh, for experiment and risk taking my dear students let me um, and explain it in this way in this course we have different topics under the umbrella of big ideas we will go over it and as you know there is a performance task you as a student you have to submit within this course in order to be able to do your performance task you have some certain topics you have to be aware of we need to discuss it we need to find out the examples for and how to link it to our real life at the same time, <coughs> we have some tasks you have to do in order to submit your performance task within this course. By time, you'll find yourself more uh, familiar with the requirements for this course and the topics of this course. As uh, you know, we have our AP practice or uh, our AP classroom me as a teacher and you as a student you can go through your account to find um, uh, all the details related to this uh, subject and of course this video will introduce that uh, also as we said before as any other subject we have some certain area where, where we can integrate our course with you will find that the topic of binary and number system uh, it will be one of the important topics we need to cover and it's really related to math where we will deal with numbers and calculations and within your, the Khan Academy website you will find uh, more uh, details about uh, this topic and practice. Also we have the science, uh, that's, we'll discuss the simulation and modeling as one of the important innovations of the computer world and how we can relate this uh, simulation and modeling to science which is very important in science to discuss and to relate and to read and to analyze different um, topics in science with 
using simulation and, uh, and modeling. Of course, also we have the unit project where in this uh, unit project, we will discuss uh, also uh, different uh, topics. For the unit for this project, we have code sculpt, sculpt where you are going to bridging art and algorithm. In this project, you will get closer for the definition of algorithms and flow chart, where is the, our first step in our performance task, the one you have to submit in this course, and how to apply the artistic work to this flow chart. So this project aims to merge the realms of art and algorithm by creating an interactive platform that allows users to generate visual art through coding. So our problem that we need to create a code sculpt to build bridging between art and algorithm in order to solve this or to implement the, uh, the project uh, input and output, you have the following steps which will help you to do that where you need to watch this video for uh, to introduce the algorithms and flow chart uh, and understand it more uh, also then you can use the following um, attached link for uh, online simulation uh, software to draw a flow chart which will help you to do that and you can also read more information about algorithm and flow of chart through this link, the one attached to this page. And by the end, you have examples for artistic flow chart. You can create or present your algorithm. And of course, here is the rubric for our project. As any other unit, uh, you can reflect this unit to our mass vision and mission. Since we are, uh, let's say, covering an international, uh, international course, in this course we will discuss the innovations and the computing innovations, which they are really important nowadays. Uh, you will find that direct link between our course and our um, uh, let's say global and uh, you can read more about the innovations through this link where you can find the top 30 innovations of the last 30 years and you will have um, good information about innovation how they are how they were how they are now and how they will become uh, after maybe 10 years also you'll find the resources pages uh, page which will link you to different resources related to this unit and this was um, the introduction for our first big idea creative development or first unit uh, and we'll go through different details uh, within our uh, course uh, have a nice day my dear students if you have any question just ask your teacher thank you